This time we'll be sharing socks from the app 911 to the Wi-Fi hotspot. What do we have here? We have a PC that is connected to my home Wi-Fi network. We need only one network card to get the internet and then share it. But it will be the internet from our socks. So we have SSH Tunnel Manager and 911 app configured in the following way. We've switched off proxy fire, set the custom proxy port 17166. Let's copy that. The app 911 demands to add a file into the program section. It's a bug, that's why we need to add a fake exe file here to make it run. Here we have a list of proxy which we can use. Let's connect to Great Britain proxy. We'll take this socks. We've been connected and the host available by this gateway 10.8.3.6. Also, this proxy is available by the local host address 127.0.0.1. Local proxy is more convenient. To connect this gateway to WSSH Tunnel Manager, go to the Tunnel Manager, open Options, change SSH for Socks and click Close. After that, the tab SSH account will change to Socks 5 list. Here we already have a Socks host and we need to add Socks host address from 911 app. Click Add Socks and then change the previous address to ours. We can also write here the whole address 10.8.3.6 colon 17166. The both addresses should work. Click Accept. Now we'll test them. Click Test Socks and wait if it's working or not. So, the local host has a faster response. And our VPN gateway seems to be not working. Let's leave it for now. It's always easier to use a local host. Click the checkbox. Here we should configure the host. Go to Auto DNS, then Virtual Machine. Oh, not that. First, we'll switch on the hotspot. Here it is. It's called Wi Fi VPN. We can rename it Wi-Fi Socks, for instance. Click the checkbox and wait for the hotspot's activation. When it's activated, we see that a new adapter appears. It's called My Wi-Fi. If we scan for Wi-Fi nets, we already see the hotspot with this name. But we can't connect to this hotspot because the socks is not connected to it yet. Even the icon is yellow, that means an absence of connection. To make it work, we need to choose one of the three options. For me, the most convenient is Virtual Machine Bridge. Then choose what suits you most. I use Onion DNS servers and UDP DNS. UDP DNS is recommended if you also use VPN. This DNS is quite fast, but it's straight and without any encryption. But we use VPN instead encryption here. So now we can run SOX. After successful connection, it tests the traffic and bridge SSH starts running.
DNS search is ongoing and we see that we can connect to the Wi-Fi hotspot and use our internet. That's all.